are some of the ways that we can use money? Uh, spending, investing, sharing, and saving. <laughs> the kids are saving money and they're setting goals. What do I want to save my money for? And some of the children are actually starting to save for college, which is just incredible. Your savings goals college, it's so good that you're saving for it now. If you teach financial literacy without application, or you offer a bank account without the financial literacy, it doesn't really work. So Bracken has actually combined both, and is teaching financial literacy in the classrooms, sending homework and curriculum home that actually works with parents, and then every Friday there's a live bank that goes on here. We come on campus early in the morning, and we're on campus, and we set up a small bank on campus in a, in a little janitor's closet. You have 1425, so you're almost there, okay? They are given a deposit bag at the beginning of the year. The bag includes a deposit book and deposit slips, and that's to allow them to track and record their weekly deposits. If I deposit the first time, I would have got to the start. Yeah, it's okay. You just keep depositing. Even if it's just 50 cents or a quarter or a penny that you find, as long as you deposit every Friday, you still make it, okay? The kids can bring in as little as a quarter and deposit it in their account every Friday. We always tell them, you can, you know, at least find a penny or ask to do a job or see if you can earn some money that you can put in your bank. I am saving for a car or a computer. I want to use my money is by saving it. And so later on when I retire and stuff, I have a lot of money. We stamp them, we help them track their participation, and then we reward them with a sticker. It gets the kids used to saving money. It gives them looking forward to a goal. You're not allowed to take the money out until you graduate from Walter Brack. And so they actually get to watch that money grow, even if it's only a few cents a week or a dollar here, a dollar there. So remember, when we're thinking about needs and wants, we have to think about who we are because everybody is different and everyone has different needs. Something that I might need, you might not need. It's like preparing me. Like, each time she comes in, I learn something new about saving and spending and investing and sharing. I'm going to teach you life lessons, like how you should know how to save and spend because when we become an adult, we're going to end we're, if we're never taught this, then we're not going to know what to do. Yes, you get interest. And what is interest? Uh, interest is when the bank gives you more money for spending. So in third grade, they focus a lot on wants and needs. What do I want and, and what do I really need to take care of myself? We're going to pass out the cards. And when I say go, you and your table together pick six things to try and help you survive on the island, all right? You need a no. No. Wait, I saw it, yes. To chop down trees to get, to, to get firewood. So what did your group choose? Clean water, dry food, matches, medicine, seeds, and blankets. Really, really good choices. I think you would survive. Awesome. You all made amazing choices today. How much money do you think you have in total? I want my students not to have a ton of debt. I want them to know to have a savings account in case of an emergency. I want them to plan for their retirement and not get caught off guard and so that they can actually live a comfortable, financially secure life in the future.